I am Crash Bandicoot doing the idle dance. I am Bare Bones Bandicoot doing my underpants. Welcome to Stage Dive in Crash Bandicoot 4, brought to you by Rocket Rabbit Commentaries. We've beaten three levels in the Hazardous Waste map. Now we are doing the Rocket Head boss fight. Head. So it Yay. is a weapon of mass percussion because he, uh, because he's using um, a multiple different drum sets. Cool. I thought it was a synthesizer. Now watch out for the quick time event, little candle buddies. Mm. They're a little fast here, huh? Nah. Well, I'm pretty sure you can slide into them as well. You can, yeah. Any anything that Crash can do in order to move these guys out and oops, I guess it was a little fast there. Let's try it again. And the fast and furious nature while these hands rise up from the smoke cloud below because of the fog machine. Might give you one too many distractions during this boss encounter. Mm. You have a limited time to reach the boss in order to inflict a hit on him. Good yeah, luck. Yeah, uh, but 15 seconds is, is more than enough, usually. For now. Jump. Now, let's send some percussion <sighs> waves at you. Oh, Thankfully, but don't sweat though. it there. We get boss checkpoints in Crash Bandicoot 4, that's right. So don't think that just because the boss killed you means that you have to start from the very beginning. The game is going to set up arbitrary points of retrial and error so that you're not going to unlearn the latter portions of the boss fight. Mm. Mm, and slide. S Cloud, come on! We're learning. Every one of those skull icons that you see represents a lesson, and a very important one. Very good. You crouched in order to get it. Now, here comes Mr. Candle Buddy. We've taken out one of Rockethead's three units of protection. Now that the second one is down, we need another candle raving lunatic to take down his defense once and for all. Mm. Yeah, you're Damn not it. supposed to be using the double jump for dodging. You're supposed to be doing single jumps for dodging. Wait. Gosh dang it. Have you ever heard of the benefit of the doubt? As in, I doubt you can get this right on your first try. Ah. Uh uh, no, because this is effective. Uh, this is effectively the uh, uh, more complicated version of Entropy's fight from uh, Crash Three. Yeah, I mean that. I mean these uh, percussion, these amplifier waves are only coming from one direction. Okay, remember, red means crouch, green means jump, green means jump. Flaming candle guy means spin. You missed but it. It's all right. Uh, the game's yeah, gonna give you another it, one. So. Crouch, and then. You just need to do single jumps for these. Yep, uh, that's the thing. I want to uh, be absolutely sure I clear it. Uh, Here he um, comes. By doing the double jump, you put yourself uh, you put yourself at risk. Damn it! Uh, uh, for uh, colliding uh, with colliding with the other wave. Of the 18 tries that we had, we are already having expended half of them. Now I hope players and viewers are beginning to appreciate why they give you boss checkpoints during this. Mm. Uh, to be perfectly honest, yes, boss checkpoint, uh, boss checkpoints are ve are very helpful and and, and uh, very much appreciated. But I don't think I would need that many of them for this fight. To be perfectly honest. And crouch, and here comes Candlestick Man. Missed him. Damn it! I guess we'll have to wait for another trial. Behold, Pyrotechnics. <laughs> And crouch, and it should be this wave. Um, and here he comes. He's going to start bopping out of the amplifier. There it is. They set him on fire. He can't believe it. All Wonderful. Right. We have disabled Rocket Head once again. Now, to the fuck me light. Away! A boogalabah. The show must go on. Oh, it's getting a little crazy in here. Trips. 
Oh yeah, we are getting. No, no, no. That's right. We're not. We're not getting more lives. We can't get more lives yeah, because there are no crates. Boss fight. There's no. And there's not only are there no wampa fruit, but there's uh, uh but there are no. Uh, there are no boxes with which to attempt to. You know. Um. Uh, uh, have. Uh, have lives spawn in. Damn it. I will say that oh. this that this particular pattern looks uh, looks uh, significantly more stressful than the first two, and I might have some issues here, but yeah, specifically with the with the lunatic being so uh, so close uh, to one uh, to one of the waves. So I think what Pass Cloud has finally realized is that doing double jump may help you clear the green discs more consistently, but what it's going to do, it's going to keep you in the air for too long to dodge the red ones because of the electric beams that you can see sparkling up from above them. If you go above the red discs, they you're going to get you. electrocuted. Yeah. Okay. Okay, good. Single jumps. That's why they time it like this. Try going forward if you really are uncomfortable with getting the height correct. Um, is this thing on? Abogaloba! Okay, you're running out of time, come on. Do you really want to do all that again? <laughs> we'll do this the hard way. Oh, it is getting crazy town in here. Now there's five amplifiers. And it's a frogger level now. <laughs> oh, sorry, that's Donkey Kong. Oh, thank God for boss checkpoints, because this particular segment, being the last of engine's health bars, is going to take the most learning. I don't know how I dodged that one, but I'll take it. All right, come on, Pass Cloud. You only have, like, three lives left. Now you got five. Don't squander this chance to to rock and roll. Dare I say that this one I actually might be a little easier than the previous ones because it's not uh, yeah, sending as many uh, percussion uh, uh, discs. Because engine isn't attacking anywhere near as frequently. Now all you really have to deal uh, deal with is the fro is the frogger platforming, and the frogger platforming isn't that uh, isn't that bad. Uh, uh cloud. Hey. I didn't see it coming. The hands of moshing rock and roll have pulled me into the abyss. And uh, this game is not to parody how concert goers look when they're actually watching an epic rock and roll show like Mastodon or what have you. Damn it. Alright, now the tension is on. We have two lives left of dying a total of 16 times on the boss fight. The very first one. Honestly, I would have to argue that Papu Papu is a much easier boss fight than this for your first one. Yes, Papu Papu is significantly easier, but Papu Papu bar uh, barely, uh, uh, yeah, Papu Papu barely even fights Crash uh, uh, for your first fight, right? I mean, all he does is just, he, he does a little dance with his butt crack showing and tries to swing at you with a mallet. All right, now time to do the entropy run-up. This is the easy part. If you screw this up, you can go screw yourself. Yeah, Here we go. Cloud. Come on. It's going to start counting down the timer. Okay. A boogaloo -ba. Boogie Wonderland. Got Yay, him. we have successfully defeated Engine, beaten with his own drum. Oh, it's a Kano. No. Yep, we just unlocked the second mask, which, dramatically, was the source of Engine's rocket head power. Cutscene time. I like that our, cut, uh, that our costume actually carries over into the cutscenes. Bye, Akano. After him... Don't worry, it's safe. It's just an interdimensional tear in space-time. Yes, we, we've uh, traveled. We've dealt with those before. Back to the 14.6 second long dimensional map loading screen. Mm. Ah, the Pirate's Cove map. Wrong. 
Uh, we're uh, we're looking a little the uncomfortably wharf, low on lives. Seventeen, seventeen. <laughs> Booty calls. Yeah, <laughs> this game so, is getting a little risky. So, if you are actually stupidly good at the flashback takes, the first flashback take that we did will actually net you a total of three lives per completion. But you have to actually be, you know, skilled enough for that to to be worthwhile. Hmm. Getting a little tub tubular. We're going to the beach, dog. We're gonna hang ten and have some fun. Mm -hmm. well, these look pretty cool. Mm. All right. In the next episode, we will start off on the salty wharf map in seventeen seventeen. Yeah. As uh, we will eventually start uh, finding out our additional characters. Be safe, everybody. Riding waves and chasing babes.